Show. There was no teeth behind that. <laughs> <laughs> Hi, welcome everybody to the Daystar Crowd Surfing. I'm Tom Vassell. I'm Joey Evans. No, nope, it's uh, clockwise. No. Mm -mm. Oh, shoot. Never yeah, mind. No. Tell you what happened in a second. The suspense. Yeah, Z Garcia. Why are we doing this? We always, we go this way now. Since when? Since Tom changed it and we had a meltdown. Like two weeks ago, we went through it. this. Why, though? I Every don't know, time. So it's consistent. What? <laughs> it was. But again, remember we told me he couldn't change it because it wasn't in the email. It still hasn't been in the weekly email. Oh. So I guess Joey was right. Who? Joey, I don't want you to ever say that again. Yeah, I gotta tell say you. it again louder. Didn't sound, it didn't feel right. You didn't get the weekly email, though, Joey so you was wouldn't wrong. know. Hurts, mm -hmm. <laughs> doesn't it? Yeah, no, Joey's right. <laughs> Tom is super entertained by us today, too. Welcome to Crowd <laughs> um, These are people who work here. Um, for hey, that sounded like a threat. Okay. No, it did not. It didn't say any <laughs> other tents. Um, anyhow, I should have people who work <laughs> anyhow. That's a different implication. <laughs> that was um, also hurtful. <laughs> I forgot what to talk about. Oh, yes. Welcome to the show. This is a show where we talk about projects on Kickstarter, GameFound, and Backer Kit that are ending in the next week or so. Got some interesting projects for you this mm. time. That's some humongous ones and a really terrible one. How's Mike already in the chat? He's Did he get airport. internet on the plane? He gets, is, he at the, yeah. is this why we... <laughs> huh, yeah. interesting. Yeah, okay. he, he struggles with the change too, Mike. He, yeah. he yep. struggles with the right. change. What was the question? Hey, so this show is sponsored <laughs> by Backer Kit. Let's take a look at a Backer Kit project. Hey everybody, I'm Tom Vassell, and let's take a look here at Wild Gardens. So Wild Gardens is something you can make a late pledge for right now. Uh, as you can see, it's fully funded from Rose Gauntlet. I'm very much looking forward to getting my copy of this here. So Rose Gauntlet is about making delicious foods. I'm ready to eat pretty much everything and have that raspberry soda while we're at it. But you can see some great artwork. You see the double-sided path board here. Look at this. I mean, again, we could just spend a lot of time looking at the artwork, but the game itself about collecting the different uh, ingredients or the source tokens that you need, the source tokens to get the ingredient tokens to then make the dishes. There's different people that you're going to be serving and giving the food to. And ah, look at all that. So delicious. So this is coming out very soon. And you have a chance right now to jump in Get the nice add-ons, get the premium wooden ingredients pack. That's what I like to get the, the stuff that looks better with some expansions and extra add-ons. Look at that cute little plushie. So this is Wild Gardens. It's on Backer Kit, and you can definitely check it out right now. Wild, now. wild Gardens. All right, here we go. Let's jump right into this. We're going to start with AI Apocalypse. Mm -hmm. I like that name. AI Apocalypse looks Apocalypse. like a... Card-driven TCG-ish. Mm -hmm. They keep talking about how it's like a new thing. Auto battlers, meaning mm -hmm. it automatically battles. You just play the, you know, obviously like a. <laughs> like it's supposed to be a video this? game genre. Oh yeah. You know that I think they started because iPads. There's only so many buttons you can like fake on a screen. This person's comparing it to challengers. Yeah, oh. yeah. I think it's like a head-to-head -head thing. So you put out cards, you arrange them in these patterns. This guy with this, you know, supplemental activation, and then automatically things are compared and they fight each other and, and you know wipe each other out. I love the look, the gameplay. Yes. I wasn't feeling. I just wasn't like this. Wasn't captivating no. me. And I love. I, I, it's the kind of thing I should like because I love the mm. theme. I like the look. I like card games with abilities and whatnot. This whole auto battling, just I feel like I'm watching somebody arranging matches. I'm like, huh, huh. Yeah, but I didn't get challenged. I like that. All. I think that's <laughs> interesting. <laughs> I like the flipping <laughs> of the elite units after you take damage or something. That's clever. Yeah, well, that was. <laughs> I didn't get challengers out of it at all, but I think it's because you just compare fighting things. I guess. I mean, I like challengers, but yeah, this one I, wasn't grabbing me. What did you think, Tom? This is also something you like. Yeah. No, well, I mean, I don't care about the theme, but... You don't, really? Aww. Solo co-op competitive? You like all three of those? Well, I'm just getting a little tired of it, but I do like how it looks a lot. I think yeah. those cards look great, mm -hmm. and I like the auto-battler idea. Do you? I'm always a big fan of 
put stuff in and then see what happens. Yeah. That's what you do with simulations. You put some stuff in there and, you know, put some bugs in the box and see which one wins. Simulation? Okay. I mean, anything, you know, like oh. to set something up, then press a button and see what happens. See what I've happens. always been okay. a fan of that. It's a real, again, it's kind of a very mobile gaming sort it's of thing. It's programming a little bit. It's, it's programming a little bit. It's yeah. programming. Yeah. So yeah, anyway, this is a cool it. looking page, too. Yeah, Color looks like that looks good. Who is the company here? Um, Go back up on the side, right? It'll tell you. Yeah. Holy moly. Holy moly. This is their first project. Yeah. And they're cyclists. And one person draws cars for a living. It's very specific. Mm. Hey, somebody's got to do it. If you like, like watching the, car, buy this game. This is a game I don't want to... It's funny. I don't normally... <laughs> this is not a, a thing I frequently say, but it's the kind of game I want to watch played. I don't even want to be the one playing. Oh, interesting. I just want to see two other people play, and I'll, I'll sit here and kind of like pick it up from watching you play. So it really is so auto you play. watch... The people who are already <clears throat> watching the game. Yeah, you want to watch no, it. If being I watch just them, played. that's not very informational to me. But that could be. I could just well, people watch, I suppose. Yeah. Yeah, you should do that. That's all right. kind of fun. It's Moving on to acornism. Or acornism. 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 I think it's, it's acorn. acorn. Play on it's words, a... I guess. Maybe so this not. is this one is not doing bad for such a small little game. Uh, a little. And it this, looks very abstract. This is the yeah. second edition, right? Am I thinking of the right one? Well, it's their first created one. If it is a second okay, edition, then, it's not, then, then okay. they've not printed it before. Okay, I remember thinking something in there made me think there was a second edition. I think it might be like a. And a, the original release might have been a few. They made a few. Yeah, this is like the big and now, production. Yeah. Right. They're actually yeah. putting it out. They changed the shape of the little wooden bits yeah. for the players. Yeah, uh, I think it's an Asian game, if I'm not mistaken. Mm -hmm. And now you, you know, it's a it's a slightly better production <clears throat> right. than what I'm assuming was a few handmade ones in the past. Yeah, yeah. 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 Um, it looks really plain. For you put out the little tiles, and if the numbers around the little critter add up to the number on the critter. Yeah, 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 you put your leaf on it. Right. It also seems like really random in like the tiles that you draw, and then if you happen. It's one of those where everyone's contributing towards a number, and if you happen to draw the tile, that's going to finish it completely, perfectly. So you know, and so based. it's like, yeah, hey, I'm waiting for you to put the third <clears> tile <throat> down so I can hopefully jump on it and yes. have the fourth one that I randomly got. So it seemed like for an abstract to be really random. Was it a loose way where it's that, that game you play on paper with all the dots, you put one line on it? Okay, I do yes. love that you game. always Boxes, wait till the last right. moment. Yeah. Yeah, exactly. That's one of my <laughs> least favorite types of mechanisms in games. Yeah. That idea of like, I just have to out, just wait you out yeah. right. until you do the penultimate thing and then I'm like, eh. yeah. You know what I mean? Yeah. Like, yeah. It's the same thing. Yeah. The boxes game. Mm -hmm. Oh, well, this, somebody scores it when it goes over 21. <laughs> yeah. We're all going to get it to like whatever number is just below just that you can't up. possibly make it in a single car and wait yeah. and yeah. wait until you can't play anywhere else. <laughs> That being said, I do think it's a really pretty production. They talk about how some of yeah. the components are going to be handmade, and you know, so I, I think it's really pretty and very simple, simply beautiful. Family weight kind type of thing, thing, you know. You but know gameplay, I think it's going to be way too random for way too waiting out the opponent. It does remind me a little bit of that one game that you and I played the other day, the two-player abstract with the little <clears> paper <throat> uh, numbers. The little black box, the magnetic black box with the oh, little yeah. paper things. It kind of has that elegance to it a little mm. bit, a little more, more cartoony, like a, like a version of that for kids a little bit. Okay. Is what this looks like to this me. This looks interesting to me. Hmm. All right, Super Trains, Superhero Trains oh. Defending a Robot City. This me and video. my son. Oh, yeah, you played yeah, this. Yeah, you played this, this right? one live if you mm -hmm. watch it. This is made from Treasure Falls Games, and they have done five, but I think they're all the they're all basically based on their they did quest, quest kids, kids. Yeah, quest okay, kids, so no. quest kids expansion to giant quest kids. Oh, this but is also them. quest kids match too, which for some reason has been promoted oh. on Facebook a lot. Hmm. Yeah, you would know as soon as you played this game because it's a little bit of pickup and delivery, not so much pickup, huh. but a lot of delivery, but also has that help kind train cards in this one. Oh. It has a whole aspect of helping. I'm a huge fan of that idea. 
where you help someone else get points, but you also get stuff. Okay. It's, it's cool. It promotes something good, but also you do it for, you know, gameplay purposes. This comes with really chonky plastic trains, of which the coolest is the bad guy. He's not a train, actually. He's a semi-truck, but that's a cool mini. What age would you put this at? Uh, elementary. I they wouldn't go much seven. higher than that. I saw they said seven. I was just curious because <clears throat> it definitely has the personality of the trains kind of reminds reminded me of like Thomas the Train Engine kind of thing, which is definitely a preschool kind of age. So yeah, I was just wondering if there's the, a disconnect. But the gameplay, so you have a train and you have a certain amount you can move at each turn and you deliver stuff, but there are the upgrade tiles you can buy. Right. Uh, it's not a young kid thing. Not right, really. I, think, I wonder if there's a disconnect there is what I'm trying to say, like thematically, like I... I no, I, I, I mean, again, I don't know. My son likes all kinds of weird stuff. He thought the, okay. uh, the, cool. the theme was cool. That's awesome. Yeah, if you're good curious man. about this one, definitely check out that live play. Yeah. It's, it's a good live play, and you get to see, again, Tom and Jimmy going at it, and spoiler alert, Tom got whooped. <laughs> That's what the comments whoop. are telling me. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> I might yeah. need to proof. <laughs> also, these guys got their own song. This that video that was, was cool. like 90s nostalgia it was commercial. such a good no, video. I, yes. It definitely oh. felt like I'd watch that show. Yes. You know? oh my like, goodness. It had like a song know. behind it. And they did do a yeah. theme song for it. Yeah, that's like, cool. Like, that's... Yeah. That's, All right. Yeah, well. your robots... I mean, your train's going around helping robots out. All right. Oh. Itame-san, the sushi mm. game. Did you guys watch the I... video for this? I this did. video took me like a sushi like discovery, you know the the kid, you know. Yeah, about, like, yeah, 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 yeah. Is it this the one with the kid? Okay, I couldn't remember. Yeah, the little girl. Yeah, it's like uh, a little uh -huh, girl. Uh -huh. Who then, like, you know, thirty seconds of the video, she's an adult. Like, well, she's a young woman, and she's like, "That was me," and like my dad. Apparently, her dad's been working on the <laughs> sushi game for. I you mean, know, maybe he hasn't been working on it the whole time. The point being. He's thought about this game now for at least 10 years. Wow. It's a memory game. Right. It's memory. Yeah. That's what I thought. I was like, this is memory. No, I didn't make it through the whole video. I, I was not a fan of the video. So they pulled um, actual footage of her? Yeah, this is yeah. the little girl. And where, yeah, and I, then, I didn't make it to where uh, she's. Bah, bah, bah. That is the same person. That's Yeah, that's, that's that her? little girl, okay. yes. And it's like, oh, wow. Oh. Okay, talking about sushi, you know what I mean? Um, in the original one. Mm. Anyway, it's a memory game. It's this is so. It's hard to be h harsh to yeah. this because, like, all the testimonials are like, so and so, eleven years old, who I'm pretty sure is related to you, Dad. <laughs> um, they got two hundred backers though. Yeah, I did. It's a very yeah. cute thing. It's a very familial thing. You know what I mean? Yeah. It's I just can't. I'm surprised that it's doing this well. They keep saying things like, never been done before. Uh, you know, it's just, it's kind of uninformed. It's like me jumping into some thing in life that I know nothing about and being like, look what I did. It's never been done before. I don't, I don't know that. You know what I mean? So, I mean, it's, I think it's clever, the whole memory aspect Instead of finding them, you're trying to match a recipe. That type of thing. Yes. Interesting. You I would, flip them, you, and if you get them all right, you complete the recipe. Yeah, which I think it's it's a different twist on the memory aspect of it. For One me, thing I don't like what they did is the whole like, oh, it's a dollar print and play if you back the first day. Oh, you see it now? Here's ten dollars. Yeah. My my PDF so it's like, wow. cost just went up. That's okay. why would you care? Because I like Brendan. No, I mean, but I think like, no, that's, that's, a difference that's not between, a good way to do it. Yeah, no, I mean, that's your... At least remove it so you don't see that part, but yeah. Right, exactly. Like, I mean, that's a big difference for one day when you back it, when you're getting a PDF. I'm still having to print. I'm still having to right. make it myself. I'm still, yeah. Yeah, yeah that doesn't feel good. I don't like sushi? how they look. I don't like the way the sushi looks. I don't think it's very good looking. I don't think it's. A, I think it's neat graphically, but I don't necessarily make the connection with the ingredients. And so <clears> I think <throat> it would be a lot of reading instead of. Um, I d it's not going to be as. They look like the symbols you would like, use. And also the having to memorize where four of them are out there yes. and memorize and was like, oh, that was the yeah. half circle, not the full circle. Da, you know. Yeah. yeah, whoever did the graphic design here, I bet is a really killer uh, logo designer. 
Mm. Great. You're mm -hmm. killer at making iconography for stuff. This doesn't need that. Mm -mm. I want it to look like a fish, a bunch yeah. of rice. Right. Uh, right. Like, you know right. what I mean? That's the thing. Yeah. 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 And so the look here is very clinical, and your game is supposed to be jovial. Yeah. They're fighting, those two things. Yeah. Well, I'm very excited about this next project. <laughs> this, this is so, oh, so yeah. is everybody in the world. That's crazy apparently. how much that's making. It took me hundred thousand dollars. It took me forever to realize there's no game with us. Like, <laughs> there's no title. Like, like, I know. I agree. Or something. Yeah. I was like, but where? Like, do you play? Aren't you glad? Oh, I'm super glad because I was like, are people touching this stuff? Like, like what is it going around? with? Yeah. <laughs> okay, eat it. Once I found out that it's it just to eat, I was like, all right, I'm more on board. But it took me a solid. Well, we won't go into numbers. It took a while. So with that. it's funny That's because crazy. it's not particularly inexpensive. Right. This is some pricey. What's a pack of these cost? Five K. It says right there. <laughs> oh no. No, it's forty two dollars, and you're getting how many do you get in that thing? Twenty five, I thought, or something like yeah, that. Yeah, it's like. Oh, I mean, that's close to 30, 40, 50 cents a gummy. Per However, day. some of those gummies are will take you all day to eat. What? No. Challenge accepted. Okay. Well, they would take me. There are lots of lot of gummy. This that's is very. I wish I could cute. taste them. Yeah, that's I a love lot of how detail, cute this too. is. I love the idea. It's very whimsical. I am though surprised. This is making almost half a million dollars. That's insane. It's this, gummies. This is a neat what? thing. Like for that last night of your D and D campaign, or last night of your dungeon crawler campaign. You know, when you finally finish X. You know, kind of that ending party, kind of rap party kind of thing that I could see myself having. These are the ones. Yes, that is a very specific thing, I suppose, yeah. but these are cute. I just... Anyway, no, I'm just... It's great. I'm just surprised it's making Look this much. That. I just don't know what... So <sighs> I can I can crazy. imagine what strawberry elixir tastes like and what mystic blueberry. Mm -hmm. What does death taste like? Oh. Licorice. Black licorice. You'll know soon <laughs> 100%. Enough. You think so? <laughs> Absolutely, yes. because it actually tastes like, like I, yes. I imagine death is black. <laughs> I will oh, what does sapphire yeah. blast taste like? Sapphire. Blue raspberry. <laughs> yeah, that's probably. I mean, that's the thing. They have these fun <laughs> flavors on here. I'm curious. I would. This is one of those ones where I would really like to have a taste before I backed it. Oh. But, 100% these people are going to be at Gen Con next year. Not this year, oh, but yeah. next year they'll have a booth. Oh, yes. Yeah. Well, I can see them. Or Dice Tower Con. Call me. <laughs> yeah, right. Oh, I can see them doing really well at Gen Con. Because oh. I would definitely, if I saw this, be like, yep, that's what I'm bringing this home to something... my son. Like, 100%. Oh, yeah. You yeah. say you would not kickstart, but if you saw it in a booth, you'd be like, okay. 100%. Hey, are you yeah. kickstarting this? No. Are you? Yes. Are you really? Of course. Oh, here's the thing. That? You got to make I sure people it. don't just like blindly grab and eat. Give them the gummy bears for that. You have to appreciate before you I eat. Oh, you mean like the handful? Yeah. Yes. Kind of like people have jelly bellies and there's like, yeah. I'm like, it's I like, want yeah, to If you're a you. handful guy, you're not allowed to have it. Exactly. <laughs> exactly. So, what's the difference here be this, between this 55 and the 42? The price. Uh, sugar free. I don't get it. This one is the early bird special. Yeah. And this is the Kickstarter special. Yeah. But the early bird special is still there. Yeah, so they you should back that one. <laughs> are, these that just, are these just 25 stupid people? Yeah. <laughs> hey, he's asking, I'm answering, okay? I don't know what to tell you. 156, a four pack. Rich people. Yeah. Well, you guys want to go together. How about the gummy mm. creator kit? Oh. You get to make your own? <gasps> yeah. Uh, oh. I don't we think do. I would do that. Ooh. I almost wish they went oh, all for the gummy creator kit because that makes me think that's what they're using to make them. And I was kind of hoping they'd be mass produced or I mean, like with a big machine. Well, how many do they yeah. have to make? How many people are backing this? To be fair, they <laughs> that's true. No, it's, I think uh, near the top. Oh, yeah. Not, yeah, 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 no, yeah, no near the top somewhere yeah. they said that they were finishing up the mass production okay. logistics. Got it, so. got it, yeah. It says October. Well, I'm, they, I don't know, I'm, I'm glad this is succeeding. This yeah. is fun. This is yeah, that's really great. succeeding, man. I wish they would have wow. us preview it. So we good. should do a preview for them. You should. We'll do a video, a live play. Yeah, we will live play. <laughs> it's delicious. <laughs> All right. Jeez, Mythwin Reaper and new content. Holy moly, yeah, this game is doing well. It is. Which is funny because we... I don't think our reviews are that powerful, but we sure. we gave it a fairly middling, yes. mm -hmm. low review. And other people I've talked to also were like, yeah, it's 
fine. The camera so was obviously, nice. but it's comfortable. It's immediately comfortable, and I think that's what's selling as well. In this one, they talk quite a bit about how they've balanced the characters. The, the new rule books made the rule books more approachable and easier to find the information and stuff like that. So, so um, they fixed it. They I hate that. It. I just oh. my argument is that they say it's comfortable. Yeah. Rather, can you imagine someone who's not a gamer getting this? Those rule books were like. You have to read yeah. this rule book and then this rule book and then this. It was a that was See, a hefty ordeal. I, it was, I think if you're not a gamer, but I think as a gamer, I appreciated that because if it was all four of our characters are all in the main rule book and we're passing around that rule book, I liked that. I was like, yeah. here's the base rules, here's your personal exceptions, and it highlighted the exceptions. So I think it's a really smart way to do it. It did no. just need, you know, a few more sets of eyes on it, and it sounds like that's what they've done. Yeah, this is comfortable for gamers. Okay, uh, yeah, we should make that very clear. It yeah. looks yes, great, it's a cozy, high comfortable thing. Mm -hmm. If you are a gamer, very yeah. comfortable with rules. Okay, and then it's kind of like Stardew Valley. You just keep going forever and ever. Mm -hmm. You never, like, the game doesn't end. You just sort of keep doing the whatever. I'm hoping, like, I could understand them changing some things as far as the production. For example, the tiles for the farmer not oh, fitting yeah. on the board. Fix it, okay? Test it before you send it out to people. They literally don't fit. That's annoying. And I get that if you're going to do it again, you mm -hmm. might as well tighten up the rule book. But that sucks. Like, this just came out. Yeah. You well, know I what I mean? Know. I don't know. Did they say how much they were changing I it? I don't know. They it did just... say that they do have the PDFs available if you're a prior backer and, you know, the the typical yeah. stuff like that. So that, that stuff That's... really does not bother me. Right, in fact, I appreciate the only that. Ones. I would rather them do that than not address the rule books and be like, oh, well, it's a second printing. We don't want to make people mad that got the first one. No, they're taking the steps. They're taking that feedback. They're putting the work into it. I don't care if it's before or after I got the game. I have the game, you know, and I'm excited, even if it means I'm PDF printing it myself. I don't think this is it's a better product. They're fixing up minor it's stuff. They're not fine. making major changes. I get changes. that companies do that. I'm definitely not <clears> blaming <throat> them for doing it. It's just that it's in line with what most companies do. I just think it's... Oh, it's a little crappy to like be. There's only so many times that being an early adopter, you know, right? That you'll do the early adopting and realize that you just get keep getting got. It is really mm -hmm. interesting. Chrissy here says that her farmer tiles fit perfectly, and she's been saying earlier like she plays it regularly, so it could have been a oh, not weird. consistency thing that we saw. I don't know. Yeah, but, the one um, we reviewed with, I played a lot of that character, and mm -hmm. they definitely did not fit well. Yeah. Yeah, you might like this game, you might not. I would not say, and I strongly believe this is not a one-to-one, -one, if you like Animal Crossing or Stardew Valley, you'll like this, because I really like those games. Those, I love that forever type game. Yeah. But those games, the video games, at least in my opinion, give me stronger goals than this game did. Yeah. After playing this game for like eight, nine hours... I didn't feel like I was I was barely better than when I first started playing. You right. you get these very tiny incremental things, and that's not the way it is in Stardew Valley or these other games. You go around, you find a cooler thing, and you go here and find a cooler thing, and then go get a cooler thing, and it keeps giving you that. Yeah. This doesn't quite do that. This is more like, like Chrissy said, you're doing a jigsaw puzzle. I, I that's that's a really good analogy to me. Yeah. This is like doing the, the jigsaw puzzle every time you play it. But I think I said this in the review as well. I think the opposite is true as well. That if you don't like those types of games, like Stardew Valley and the farming games, I don't like them. Um, I did, and I came out the highest on this. I think I like this game universally in the office, not just as that reviewed it the most. Um, and <clears throat> so I don't think it is that one one. Even though it's comparable to those, I think it feels sure. so very different. Um, yeah. Because I, I active. I don't want to say I actively dislike, but there have not been any farming games yet that I have enjoyed that I that I return to regularly. Yeah. yeah. Um, but this we one, can it's play definitely Caverna right now. <laughs> <laughs> I will say I'm glad this is getting a reprint, and clearly there was demand for that. Every. Oh yeah, yeah, for sure. There's a lot of people who are backing this. It is doing tremendously well, yeah. and there's extra content here too. It's mm -hmm. not yep. just a reprint of the base game, but you are getting new characters, more content. The more content for this kind of game, more cards, that variety is a great thing. The fifth character is the innkeeper. I know that. Yes. Mm -hmm. And then they have miniatures for these creatures, which I think is just... It's just... I, I, I couldn't know. figure Aesthetics. out what they would be like for. They, yeah. they, I don't know that they're using the game, but maybe so. And then there's like a whole bunch of other 
You yeah. know, there's more cards. Yeah. These event cards you can play with them forever. You can just keep adding yeah. more events. So, all right, and a cool dice tower. Yeah. Dice treasure. You don't have much time to back this, so you better get on this. If you, I was surprised by the play length of this, 45 to 60 minutes. That did seem long. They, After, keep, they like, kept changing it, though. Like, yeah. you know, they show you the box at one point. It says 25 to 35 on the box, the prototype box. And then they <clears> said 30 to 45. I don't know where and you then saw, I saw 45 I saw 60. 45 minutes. So, I saw maybe it was the 30 to 45, but I saw 45. There's some Sagrada. It's like, it's like yes. half Sagrada, half what's the... Yeah, the Roll for from it. Calliope games. Was that Roll, Roll for it? it? Yeah. yeah, from Calliope. It feels like it's exactly right between those two it games. It is. Yeah, it's half Sagrada, half Roll for it. It mm. looks neat. Some of the... I watched it has a play, and I like some of the mechanisms. You are... You have the cards in front of you, you roll five dice, set them, you can keep up to two. If you would have more than that, you put them in the center, anything you can't keep. And then other players, after they roll, could trade one to one with the things you left yep. without changing the faces. I like that. Then the next round you roll four only. The next round you roll three only. But at that point, anything you haven't completed goes to the middle. Mm -hmm. And you can complete other people's. So you have sort of like, a, like a time, you, you have a crunch to get them done earlier or they become communal, which I don't think I've ever right. seen that in a game, actually. That is interesting. Right. So you begin with something, and if enough time passes, it becomes communal. That's a clever idea. Yeah. It's kind cool. of inexpensive, too. And I thought this was interesting. It kind of reminded me of, like, Draftosaurus, where it's, mm -hmm. it's a roll and write that's not a roll and write. You know, it's kind of what this felt like. Like, it oh, does. you're rolling dice and you're kind of filling out, but it kind of switches yeah. back and forth. And I was like, oh, this is interesting that, like, roll and write adjacent kind of category of games, um, which I which I tend to like. So I like the adjacent, it was interesting. The old, you know, you can't place it next to this number, this color, and it's yeah. just... Yeah, it's, it's very Sagrada. Sagrada yeah. yeah, yeah, I thought it was good. Like just like, it. I just don't think I want 45 minutes out of it. So if it is closer to that 25 to 30, then, yeah. I would hope it's yeah. closer to 25 to 30. But. That's, that's where it should be. Mm -hmm. Speaking of small games here, we have Aqua Rove. There's another button-shy wallet game. I think we'll probably take a look at one of these once a month, probably. I think that's their goal. Yeah. Mm -hmm. I can't yeah. tell when they send them out to their backers and which ones are new. Anyway, it doesn't matter. I don't know. Yeah, I've played so. Rove, and I've reviewed Rove. You have? Yeah, it's a solo, puzzly game. Aqua Rove is basically like alternate powers Rove. It's like a slide puzzle type thing, right? Yeah, it is, right. Mm. So you okay. are... You have a goal that the card shows you. Now they're a little bit harder. In Aqua Rove, the, they show you sort of the lit up white spaces is where the cards need to be. And in the original game, Rove, one specific card needed to be in one specific place. In this one, two need to be in specific places. So harder. Twice as hard. Twice at least as hard. Is this random or are they like puzzles? They are... No, so you set up the, the white cards there, you set them up, mm -hmm. and then you need to go through a certain number of these things before you, like, run out. Oh. Mm -hmm. So every game is different. Every game is different, okay. yes. Oh, okay, it's not... It's not a puzzle, it's a proper game, yeah. Got You're it. moving these things around, you can flip over the white card and take, a, like, a big powerful ability, but obviously then that's exhausted. Um, it's a great game, I really do like it. I think Rove is a, a fun, very thinky solo game. It's much thinkier than the, the typical fare uh, from this kind of line. And then the Rove Jr. I think looks super cute. That's I actually think, that's the one yeah. I'm more interested yeah. out of the two, actually. Because I've already got Rove, but Rove Jr. looks nice. Yeah, I think it's super cute. That's the one I was definitely pulled more to. Um, hmm. And I didn't as well. And again, I just Pretty I know players. I say this a lot with kids' games, but like back when I was homeschooling as well, I could just see this being like, oh, the logic, you know, it's oh your activity for the day. Hey, and and with a game like this, something like that, um, I think it's super cute. Yeah. All Loser. right. Yeah. Next we have Horror on the Orient Express, the Ooh. board game. This is the yeah. biggest Speaking project of, of the huge week. Huge yeah. project. One point three million, ten thousand backers. Now this is from <laughs> Chaosium. I believe is how you say their name. Yeah. I'm not. Yeah. I'm, okay. They do not make a lot of board games. But they have made this before. That confused me. Horror, the last one, the Horror on the Orient Express. So is this a second edition of this? It's the first time I realized that. Hmm. I think Horror on the Orient Express might be the RPG. I don't know. Oh, is it? Okay. Oh, book. Yeah. yeah, this looks like an RPG Got here. Got it. So I didn't realize this was based Maybe. on an RPG then. Okay. All right. So know. it's like from 2017 or something like that too. So it's really old. Really old. 
So we're I'm here. back in the day. I am so, you know, like, I'm not going to spoil. We just got a game I was very excited about yes. and then kind of yes. fell apart. Yes. Component-wise, I'm I'm nervous this could be the so same way. Cause this, same here. Huh? What is that? The game here. he played last night. I love the night. look that of one. that. Okay, I thought you were talking about the one that got And if you want to know, too, for a small donation of one count. <laughs> <laughs> of gummy uh, bears. That but train is gummy, by the way. This looks really cool, and I'm hoping the same cool. thing. I know. Because I'm nervous because they're not a board game company. Yeah. And how much RPG stuff is in it, so I have to roll dice 2,000 times, that, you know? I will say, I put less stock normally when it comes to this kind of thing on the company and more on the designer. Right, the designer. And this is the designer nemesis, of, of Frostpunk, 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 Nemesis, mm -hmm. and one more. You know, one. all those games. That is a lot of complexity. Oh, Destiny. Yeah. I know. Destiny. Yeah. That's it. yeah, yeah. So, like, yes, <laughs> complexity uh, can be expected, but also... No streamlining, really. Well put together package, yeah. Right, because all of... All of those have yeah, such good story and lore brought into the gameplay, which is right. what I love. That's you what know? I need from this. Exactly. And they have that catalog, you know, from the RPG, and, and they can bring that those design skills to it. This is super exciting. I oh, saw I a little miniature. bit of play. I saw the Brothers Murph playing yeah. a little bit. Just watched mm -hmm. a couple minutes. It looks interesting. Yeah. I like It's like the train moving along. You're flipping over cars as I the like train that. progresses. Moving yourself around the train. Yeah, and the train this, moves as well. Which is The train moves yeah. along, yeah. I kind of like the vibe here. You know what it reminds me of a little bit is the old A Study in Emerald. Like the original. Oh, which was yeah. like kind of messy, kind of fun, okay. sort of thematic, you know what I mean? Nobody would look at it and go, oh, this is streamlined to perfection. But it was fun. And right. it was, mm. you know, yeah. chaotic a little bit. And so it did what it did well. I'm hoping this does something similar. Is it going to be the cleanest affair? No, but I'm hoping it's thematic and fun and plays fast and loose with everything that's going on. But Absolutely. again, I mean, if you look at those games they're talking about, I mean, Frostpunk, for example, is really complex, but I wouldn't call it messy rules-wise. It's sure. just procedural and complex. Yeah. You know? well, just and not so, elegant. Yeah. Right, and so I think that that gives me a lot of hope for this. And Destinies, too. I don't know how that's... I did find that one less... Yeah, it's pretty. Yeah, it was pretty simple too. Yeah. I feel like at the end of the day. I really like the look yeah. of this too. I think it. Oh, it looks so all the images, the everything, the characters, the miniatures, the yeah. images, the cards. That train mini was like. Yeah, it all cool. looks pretty neat. Yeah. I like yeah. that. Again, they're like, oh, vampires. Oh, throw in some of this stuff. Yeah. <laughs> I'm like, yeah. All right. Yeah. This is a kitchen sink type. Of, yeah, it's a lot. Thematically, but just this horror train. I like it. All right, before we go to our next project, we have a quick spotlight here from Mr. Mark. Street Alita. This spotlight is brought to you by The Eternaut, a survival game set amidst an alien invasion based on the world-renowned comic book. It is the latter part of the 1950s, a calm and quiet evening that didn't seem to be special in any way. But everything changed when it started to snow. Mysterious and deadly flakes covered everything, killing anyone who touched them. This is just the first weapon of a merciless alien race who wants to conquer our planet. But not everyone has fallen victim to this mysterious threat. Four people have survived in a workshop, and now they're venturing into the world, the start of a survival adventure in which you must face menaces far more dangerous than the deadly snowflakes. The Eternaut is a story-driven cooperative survival board game set in Buenos Aires that uses simple game mechanics to create a survival experience with strong narrative elements. You must build a team, gather items, fight enemies, resolve objects, and decide how to proceed with your unique story. The game gives you maximum freedom, allowing you to interact as you please with your surroundings, inspired by the point-click games from decades past, not to mention the famed comic of the same name. In the Eternaut, your characters can talk about a variety of topics, interact with items like doors, shelves, and vehicles, and even combine apparently useless items into something new and stronger. Each scenario has a dedicated storybook, so the interactions and encounters are completely unique within the story. Do you have what it takes to survive? For more information, please check out the campaign, which is now live on Kickstarter. Bloodlands. Ooh. So Bloodlands. Hello, Joey. Hey, uh, calling hey, Joey. Hello. First, you, you got a packet. 
Then you got to print it. It's then you got to okay, play it. It's in Australian dollars. Of course he did. Well, yeah, that's He's exactly it. I was going, I looked at it, I was like, okay, it looks similar to floor plan, you know, as far as putting it around there. I did like how the mountains show up. Yes, I backed it. But it's a print play, <laughs> but it's like, I like how the mountains show up. And I'm going to bring some money and throw it into a trash can every time we do yeah, this. This one I'm playing. Oh, I'll bring a trash can. But this is... <laughs> It's interesting. It looks good. I like how the mountains slowly show up as far as like whatever sides you can put. It's I like it. It looks interesting. It looks simple. I should add a segment to this at the end. Like print play reviews by Joey have an yeah. intro that he just comes back to us <laughs> <laughs> every time. That's true, Joey. Eventually, this was not bad. It's like six Australian dollars. I think it's like five American. <laughs> it's I don't know what that is. All right. We all take from the river. Which, we when do. I first saw this, I thought it was like a song title. <laughs> yeah, they also the it river. comes with an album, a record, a record. Oh, I'm sorry, a record. A record. Mm. A record. This one's interesting because it has yeah. that kind of semi co-op, you know, where if everyone does one action, then it ends up destroying the ecosystem of the river. Like if everyone fishes and there's not enough fish there to right. um, bring out more fish, fish things like that. So I think. I don't, I'm not usually a fan of that because it just seems like one person is the one that's saving it. Semi co op. You know, it's kind of like, hey, if, if we do this or if nobody does this, then we all lose. We just have talked about that in a game. It's like, okay, well, as long as one person does it, I don't want to be that person, so somebody else do it. Right. You right. know, and yeah. I feel like, but in this, it, it works thematically and they are leaning so much into the thematics of this game and, the, you know, the ecology of the river. Um, I really think it's interesting with the the mechanism of being on the river and you can put your, um, do your production and stuff up top, you know, so you're going to get first go at things, but you're not going to get as much, you know, that trickles down. So you'll get right. more stuff at the bottom of the river as those nutrients come down and things like that. So interesting, um, again, thematic integration here. I think it looks boring. I appreciate the theme of it and all, uh, but this looks like a game that came out 20 years ago. I think graph. I, I think graphically, the, the yeah. art. Yeah, I'm not a huge fan of yes. that. I do think that needs a once over. But no, I think thematically, I think it's interesting, it's really interesting, and they are. I think it's avoiding, or I'm hoping. I guess I haven't played the thing, but I'm hoping it'll avoid playing like an educational game. Right. Yeah. You know, that's which is a, it's like, oh it, no, right? educational. This one's sort of towing that line between being. A real game you know, and about something, yeah. And they're you know clearly invested in that, and then but not playing like, oh, this is educational. You know, they, we have a message. Yeah. Um, yeah. But I agree with Tom. It looks real. Yeah. I, I don't know if they're going for that on purpose or not, but it looks old. This is one of the times I wish that a stretch goal would be like, oh, and we'll get a like commissioned artwork for it and stuff like that. You right. know, like it's one of those like, yeah. cool, I see what you're doing, you're being indie here and that kind of stuff, but make it a goal to boost that up. Yeah. You know, but yeah, I think you're right. It's gonna come down to a lot of how it plays. Does it feel like it's integrating a theme or if it's really like pushing that education? Yeah. Hey Roy, bring in the camera on us here real quick. Here. Let's, thanks to the Super Chat, say happy birthday to Martin Gardner. Yes. Martin Hello. Gardner. Surprise, happy Martin birthday. Gardner. Surprise. It's your birthday. You didn't know Today? that it's your birthday. You forgot that it's that your birthday. Feel super familiar that I remember Martin Gardens is the property of Monopoly that I was <laughs> won. <laughs> oh, Marvin Gardens. It's Marvin Gardens. Mar You're right. Not Martin Gardens. Marvin not Gardens. Martin. Probably not the same but guy. But if I was Martin Gardner, I would always buy Marvin, Marvin Gardens. Gardens. You'd have to. It's like, it's required be, in the that'd rules. That'd be a win. You're like, did I win? I bought what that property. What color is it? Yellow. Yes. Yes. You're so smart. I love it. Are you sure it's not That's red? That's what it takes to be smart. Wait, my top 100 comes Never out. You'll see why I like Monopoly <laughs> so much. Wow. Hey, Way up there. Happy birthday to Martin happy Gardner. Happy birthday. Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday, Martin. All right. For your birthday, Martin, you can buy Phoenix Farm. I don't actually recommend you. You can, but the dice. You don't recommend in this. Phoenix Farm, Tom? Did you see the dice? <gasps> Go to the what? shaky dice. Go. What? But the, the dice. The magic dice? eight ball. Wait, 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 wait. Oh, in the. Uh, oh, watch it. You get ready. Ready? Yeah. Here we go. Yeah. Oh, wait, wait, wait. wait. Yeah. I don't think you I want to shake this. it. Here we go. Bloop. <laughs> I don't think I saw it. It's the magic eight ball. It's a magic eight ball for a die. Yep. Uh, uh, yep. Buzz Boop. Like that. 
<laughs> I do want that actually. I figured you would. Yeah. yeah. Huh. Like, can I get just that without the game? You might. I don't know. I, I get so distracted. I can see myself using remember. that on an airplane. You know, be like shake the dice, but about like, a, little, <laughs> a little rolling right. You know, like <laughs> it's not going to make great. noise. That you're not going to lose the dice. It's I a quiet see. dice roll. That's yes. that's pretty cool, actually. Hmm. That's a good idea. They're saying in the chat here, this is very red, and that was pretty much my takeaway, is like, I could it's not really get past red. the red overlay on everything. Yeah. I was like, I can't read anything, I can't see anything, it, I see red. Yeah. Also, I they know. didn't focus enough on the game. Right. Yeah, the only things I got from the game, and again, from watching third-party videos here, yeah. was, it seems a lot of rolling to do things. Yeah. Like, oh, you're going to hatch the egg. So you need a kiln, and then you roll a die. Did you get a four? You hatched it. Did you get a yeah. six? Then something special happens. And I'm like, so really old school kind of mechanisms. You right. know what I mean? Yes. This game, I think, from the little bit I, I gathered, has a very old school mentality to it. Mm. That idea of like, how did I do? Ooh, okay, here we go. Flip this thing. I got the egg and the other thing, and everything's red. And Yeah, no, not for me. Yeah. No, but that die... I'm looking. I don't see where you can do that. I know. Yeah, yeah. Kickstart like, that. We're right there with you. We're right there with you. <laughs> All right. Oh, good. Yeah, super that. Squad High. Have you ever wanted to go to a superhero high school? No. Uh, and well, what if you did and you were also a teenager and were playing a cooperative <sighs> game? Then I'm awesome. I am very happy leaving high school in the Ooh. past. Let me quick look at what pretty cute. else Michael Addison has done. He's done Dungeon Dale Rebels. Mostly RPGs, from what I get. Ooh, look at the artwork on the first one. Dungeon date. That house of the... <laughs> the, ah, the house yeah, of things the, quickly changed. Look at the change okay. in management right there in the middle. It's like, yeah, yeah. wow. Well, I mean... <sighs> yeah, it's RPGs uh, mostly, so this is a, just a board game. This one actually looks... It looks cute. I like the vibe mm. here. You are supposed to be managing sort of your classroom I'm... stuff, relationships at school, and then fighting, well, fi finding... And fighting and fight, yeah. the but, big bad in your class. Ooh. This sounds kind of interesting as far as like fighting the, the guys and then going back to try to study, balancing your schoolwork. Yeah. We're at lost because the whole relationship having to come up with stories and all that stuff. Mm. I'm like, oh, okay, that lost my, that was yeah. like a bit too kitchen sink. But I like the idea of balancing a schedule while fighting crime, you know? Right, right. Yeah. I think that's Spider-Man's best thing, you know? It's like trying to balance being a kid and You doing have that. to do these other things yeah. at the same time, which feel like, oh, it's so frustrating. I don't want to do that me mechanism. Right, well, that's what it's supposed to be like. Right. You know, it's supposed to be yeah. like the thing you don't want to do but have to. Yeah, this seems to me a little bit like that uh, that RPG series, uh, video game RPG series uh, with the kids who are during at high school during the day and at night going to the tower and fight evil. What is that? Uh, oh, I don't know. What is that called? There's like five games in PJ this series. Max. Whatever, somebody's about to ride it oh. there. You know what I mean. Um, what? These kids are... It's High School Kids. It's yeah. a Japanese series. My Hero Academia? No. No, it's High School Kids, just at high school, and then at night they go fight in their dreams or whatever, and they have these, like, whoosh, creatures that they embody. Persona, thank you. I could oh. not come up with that word. Thank you. Hmm. Three uh, people can. Persona. Up. This kind of looks like Persona. <laughs> They're up to, like, Persona 5 at this point. Wow. So it kind of looks like that. <laughs> well, Chris guessed Animorphs. But yeah. Animorphs, yeah, that's what <laughs> I meant, Animorphs. Chris is the only one who got it wrong. And yeah, all those like, yeah, everybody is done. <laughs> everybody but Chris. <laughs> well, guess what, folks? That's the end of games. Well, that's mostly. Them. We have one more game to show you, but mm -hmm. it gets relegated to the, the other huh? section. Um. Yeah. All right, here we go. Some non-game oh, stuff. Okay, what do we if got? If you have some of this stuff, send it to me at tom at dicetower.com. And realize if you send it to me day of... It will get relegated to the following week, probably. What do you got? So first we have Mile Ships, a narrative art book by Ian Mc McKay. Now, how would you know him? Because he did some art for um, Shipwright. What? No. I'm mm -hmm. guessing it is ship. No, like didn't he do the art for, what's that show slash book about... Oh, Persona? The, the, like, the, like there's tech in a Norway town. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. No, um, um, the loop. <laughs> the loop. Well, this oh, is the person okay. who's the artist. I don't know loop. if it is. Oh. It, just, it just looks like that. I don't like think it is. I don't right. think it is, but it no. looks like that, yes. It looks like mist. Or, or scythe. A little. I thought it was more like scythe. 
But like, I think yeah. this is cool art, actually. Yeah, I, I like really the look. Actually, like it would look. say right here if he did that, so no. Absolutely. Yeah, the uh, loop has a fantastic vibe. It a, does. a really cool look to it yep. all. And you're right, this is a little bit like that. Yeah, it's cool, though. I would like to see stuff like this. So that's a cool art book you can get. That's cool. Also, you, do you want to label your construction website? I do. I'd be labeling everything. <laughs> this is very cool. Okay, this. Everything. When he had it on his belt, oh, I would use that everywhere. Suppose I was talking to you. <laughs> Ooh, look at around. It's a fact <laughs> for you. <laughs> yep. I don't care. <laughs> like that. Yep. Wow, no, this looks everything. really good. You know what? I, I appreciate great. that this is, that the way they're pitching this is so specific. Oh, I say so kudos, specific. Is, kudos yeah. to them for making it for one really specific thing and targeting your audience. You know what this is, folks? The opposite of my game is cooperative and competitive <laughs> and right. has a solo mode and you can use it at the construction site. Okay? Right. <laughs> Pick one thing. Well, that I, this is fantastic. Say I wish I wished it was non. I would get this. If it was non-construction stickers. Well, I realize that, but then it's not for you. Why? And it you? will be a product for you. You know what I mean? I'm just saying. I'm glad that they made it so specific. I appreciate that. Mm. This looks really cool. Yep. We're gonna label our library with these stickers. Let's go. It is funded, right? It is yes, very it's, fun. It's doing very well. You could label a library with these. Yeah, you oh. could. Okay. <laughs> I shouldn't have said anything. Yeah. <laughs> yes. Here you go. It's like oh. one and a half feet. <sighs> Lumber. <laughs> All right. My cood tech and hand shoes. Oh, yeah. Feel the vibes with every step. Yes. Oh, this is so as far as I can tell, <laughs> these are shoes made from what appears to be recycled coats. Um, Sleeping bags. And yeah. they massage your feet or vibrate? I was like, like, yeah. like acupuncture? I can't figure it out. I just see oh, a lady wait. walking everywhere, getting in traffic. I wish there was a that material, shoes. is that same material that's the thick the shirt? That's what it looks oh, like. I, I thought it was like oh. sleeping bag material. Yeah, yeah, okay, yeah. sure. Isn't that the same stuff? The video, you know, you oh. get all this while looking your best. I'm like, are you? Uh, right, yeah, it definitely goes in. <laughs> you keep using you're that word. You're barely avoiding yeah. looking like, like you're bumming it. Yeah, it leaves You know, you're like half a step above that. It really is. Like, oh, I just didn't want to get rid of you. It's like yeah, it definitely leans slippers. hard into that. Like, oh, it's fashionable. This video mm -hmm. this it looks video. like a like a sleeping bag. You know what these are? This is what you wear to like the thirty-hour marathon when I have my house shoes on. Yeah, no what's on the, the bottom of your feet? That's what matters. It's though, called right? the sole. It's mostly skin, I think. I think right? It's, I think it's probably <laughs> like the house shoe, like that really thin sole. But then that would be terrible for walking outside in them. Right. Oh, I know. But Being what if it's like massaging rock? you at the same time? Yeah, yeah, but for like a couple weeks, it's great until you step on a pebble right. or a piece of glass. And, and it fries that wire vibration. and it yeah. electrocutes you. <laughs> to her defense, <laughs> <laughs> to her defense, I watch a video and this is the least self-aware person in the world. She walked in front of a car. Oh, yeah. There are people running. Well, uh, how can uh, you when you look that fashionable? I mean, you know, you focus on wanna, bigger things. Wanna, like, she really does walk in front of a car? Oh, this car stopped. Well, yeah, in yeah. the one part, she's crossing the road. These two Look people are running, thing. like, I think they're running from something, and she just doesn't notice anything. And when it's she's just... touching it in her hand, it looks like a sleeping bag for a chihuahua. I also she love sits... that she's walking on her toes, and she's like, yeah, no, wait, she's no, walking. That looks really awful. Really careful. That she looks sits... really bad. Yeah. She sits next to a statue in a second. Connect and... with comfort via Bluetooth. Folks, uh, we're at the point uh, now where you can uh, Bluetooth connect to your shoes. Hey, guys, game night <laughs> tomorrow. Right? Oh, sorry, I got to That's a statue next to her, by the way. She's not supposed to be sitting on that. <laughs> and then look at these kids you. running right there. They're running from something in the middle. I mean, I, I feel ah, for them. Wait, there's the like, light change. The light change. Yes. Like, you can make it. She's like, she just wait, wait. Girl. <laughs> so wait. <laughs> yeah, she's on a college she campus. She got to get hit by like, a car cars in a second. Mm -mm. This car's turning. She's walking and filming. Spinning. That right there. Like, that car's like, <laughs> go. This lay oh, influencers. <laughs> <laughs> I am oh, telling you, boy. I'm still not understanding, though, what they do to your feet. Do they, right. do they massage you? They well, Mike said he missed the Reebok pumps. Maybe they pump up. I was going to yeah. say, yeah. Release. Then Are pump they like up, the then pump. release. So the vibration target, eight key pressure points, and it has nine intensity levels. I'll tell you right no. now, folks. Oh, you don't need nine intensity levels. Okay? <laughs> I have a fan that has like five speeds. They could have done three. <laughs> okay? This is the same thing. I can't tell nine different pressure. Come on, get out of here. It reminds me of those old rock. 
Like they had 18 speed bikes, and I was like, you, you need on. four. Come on, yeah. You don't need 18. Come unless on. Unless you're like a professional. Do they have Bluetooth? I think you only need that. four in Florida. That's a, that's a. No, no, no. You know, as a kid, I'm saying <laughs> you use one or two to go up a hill. You go. And you yeah. use the rest when you were going straight. You didn't need to have 18 of them. Unless you're like a professional and you're like, have to switch gears every two seconds. No, I, I not agree. my experience, no. I agree, you don't experience. need that many. No. There's also <laughs> like, again, if you've changed the big one versus the little one, it, it, some of those gear ratios are very similar. Yes, I agree. You know? But anyway, I am backing the shoes. Uh, <clears throat> <laughs> That's true. Bruce had to post a video for walking across Legos. That's how you <laughs> prove it. That's how you prove it to me, yeah. All right, miniatures and brushes. This is from a company, Asura New Horizon. This is something one. I'm really intrigued by. I want, I want to do something like this, where it's like I have this miniature, and I'm following along with tuto on a tutorial, painting that miniature with them specifically, oh. and they're like teaching you as you go. I don't want to do it for six hundred dollars. That's how much it is. Well, the tutorials are four hundred eighty or something like that, and then you have to get the miniature as well. And I'm like. Wait, ah. wait, they're charging for a tutorial? If yeah, you get the tutorial. Like the tutorial. Do they I know mean, YouTube exists? Yeah, if they no. find out about right. YouTube, their mind is going to be like, blown. And, so, and I'm not, I mean, I don't, I'm not a good enough painter to know this company, this guy, anything like that. But this is like so much of what I want. But, oh, I just, I, no, I'm, I'm not that. Isn't there I'm like really good. good people teaching this yes. on the internet? there are, yeah. Like, well, what's that guy's name who's like really, everyone talks about him all the time. Bob Ross. Squidmar. Oh, yeah, probably yours. I don't remember. Did that. I do it right? Squidmar? See, he doesn't really do the, the how to paints, but I do oh, like him. Okay. Uh, I, like, I like Squidmar a lot. He's uh, Duncan Rhodes. You do like Duncan hey, Rhodes. Hey, Duncan yeah, Rhodes is your guy. That was a good one. You, yeah, that, that's your man. But yeah, so it's like, I, I don't know. It's, it's like a high quality miniature with the thing to go along with it. I don't know. Um, I'm not. Brushes are also something that I want to use before I invest in like a whole set like if I'm going to get a really good one. But I don't know. Yeah. yeah. Gummy brushes. <gasps> All right, so I have to take a look at a board game. Rocket Soccer. Oh. So, in Rocket Soccer, mm -hmm. you're going to shoot Hot Wheel cars this is the best onto the board. Which, if you yeah. told me that pitch without me looking at the project, I'd go, I'm still listening. I, I, yeah, I went yeah. I'm okay, like right? Like, okay, keep chair. going. Right, yeah, yeah. You can buy them for a dollar at Walmart. Got it. Sorostro, that's what I was thinking of, yeah. Look at that. That's yes. Like, Sorostro's the, the one of. I like. Yeah, you that like Duncan Rhodes, I like Sorostro, yeah, yeah. I love Bruce, like, Rod Phelps painting some rock. The Rod Father. <laughs> All right, anyway, it's like soccer, Look though. That. Soccer it's, with hot wheel cars. Yes, yes. You know how sometimes we talk about Just what, what, what Kickstarter was originally intended yes. for? Yes, yeah. <laughs> This is this ain't it. No, <laughs> no, 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 no. This is what uh, Microsoft Paint is for. Back of okay, your for. come on, you got to give me a little more than this. Yeah, I'm all about the passion project, but yeah. I need the passion and the project. Oh, does it say this not a is, prototype? This is a not a prototype. Oh no, that's what Kabuki Kid is saying. I was like, wait, does it say that? I missed it. If it says not a prototype, no, yeah. there you go. You got to give me <laughs> something. Dates even tilt. <laughs> That. Yeah. Bring, your, just, bring your own on. painter's tape. <laughs> you really thought, like, again, you thought showing us this. He should have shown the video, though. How much is it? Go go back up to how much do they want? But you, thought, you thought showing us these few hand-drawn things, you were going to get 37 grand? Right. Mike does make comment. He says, I think it's supposed to be Rocket League. That's exactly what I thought when I saw yeah. it. Like, oh, it's Rocket yeah, League. Yeah. It's cool. Oh, and you have the Hot Wheels. Like, so many of the pitches are there, but you've got to bring, unfortunately, you've got to bring more to the table yeah. than this. Right I'd right make a game like this because I would get it. I would do. I think it would vary. Like, if this looked good, yeah. it would absolutely fund, especially if you right. did the wink, like, not Rocket League thing. Mm -hmm. yeah. yeah, but come on. you got to do a little right. more work than this. Yeah. Oh, hopefully, geez. again, hopefully they'll come back with, with something that looks a little bit better. Yeah. All right, would you like your tattoos to light up? Oh, These are just stickers, though, right? Those would come off. No, well, no, no, I know it's, it's not a tattoo, quickly. but I meant like it looks like a you sticker. You can have it sewn on your skin, though. No, I meant it looks like a sticker. It <laughs> yes, doesn't, it it's looks like, like a oh, sticker. lighting up tattoo, but it doesn't look like a tattoo. It looks like a sticker. Yes. Wait, wait, that's right. the thing? You can't have these sewn on your skin? No, Tom. That's okay. a joke. Um, What's wrong with you? I'm willing to try it out on you, though. Yeah, I got my medical degree from Toys R Us. <laughs> yep. 
I like yes. the idea of a light up sticker, but would you wear it? Yeah, yes, he would. I'd put he this would. all over my kid. Like yeah, we were going would. to an event, and I needed to find him. You know, oh, like, and, like I would have to at wear. Night, I'd be like, "Where's the that? very right fair there. color on this one?" <laughs> oh yeah, I come up and be like, "Can it go wider?" <laughs> <laughs> it's a little too dark. It's very fair for me. <laughs> yeah, it's a cute idea. It's you put your you put a, some bling on you, and, and it lights up. I, I guess it's good so. for like a. If you're going to a music festival it or something, say, yeah, yeah. So, how like long does a sticker stay in your skin? Not they long. do not. I know those were experienced. Uh, it really depends, though, because you get some of those band aids, those fabric band aids. Shoot, that'll stay on for like three weeks. The residue off that, so doesn't you matter really how much. You really got to invest in some soap. No, 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 I'll, no. I end up having to use like Goo Gone to get it off, and then I'm oily for yeah, two days. Yeah, right. So no, I disagree. So okay. does Google? not get. I, I, you have to use either that or the um, go, uh, what is it? Go the GoPro yeah. lava soap. <laughs> oh, I do like lava. Go like Joe. Go Joe. Go Joe. Go Joe. Yeah. yeah, 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 yeah. All right. So let's let's uh, take a look at pick of the weeks. Did Mike record one for us? Mm -hmm. Let's take a look is. at Mike. Oh, Mike is a beast. Mike? Hey there, everybody. It's Mike Delicio, and this week I'm coming to you live on recording from the Dice Tower Studio. My pick of the week this week is going to be Acornism. This is a game that looks like a kind of a clever little riff on dominoes. Very cute little game where you are placing out these tiles that have either forest animals or acorns on them. And you're trying to surround an animal with enough acorns to be able to score it. Looks very light, very simple, quick, um, which is appealing to me. So I'm going to go with that uh, in a pretty rough week. That is my pick of the week. All right, well, let's see what the rest of these people have to say. Is that yes. is shocking? That's shocking that, that he picks shocking. that. Yes. Mean, or the fact that it's coming from inside the studio. Huh? I want to cut. This is not a pretty rough week. There's actually several. There's weeks a couple of weeks. Really yeah, what? It's the Gummy Week, the famous there Gummy was only Week. Only one right. Japanese project. That's oh, what it God. is. Okay, that makes sense. Uh, check, please. Um, wow. Okay, my pick mm -hmm. of the week. Mm -hmm. I know what your pick is. Mm -hmm. What do you think it is? It's the it's Can, I eat, it? It? It's Can I eat it? You've been talking about it <laughs> since we got here. Yeah, baby. It's all about Cthulhu. He's on the train. He has a little bag of peanuts. And then some humans walk by him. He's like, oh, not in my cart. <laughs> And then he attacks them, and they're in. I would play that game. I would do. You like have to roll those cars onto the track. This is this anyone else's pick of the week? This is mine too. I'm. I'm oh, waited a while there. Hopeful. We stop with peanuts. I can't just interrupt that. Thank you, sir. It was a bit. Uh, this <laughs> I, looks really good. I'm super into. No, I'm in. I'm in, man. I like the this designer. Cool. Yeah. I like the theme. Uh, yeah, I, I, I'm ready to go. I'm ready to play. Let's go. Yeah, I think, I think it's really going to be very complex, and I have to go in prepared for that. But I do not expect oh. elegance. Yeah, I don't expect it to See? be succinct. You know what right, I mean? Right. I know what I'm getting. I'm yeah. okay with that. I agree. All right, what about you? I, I was super pretended by this one as a pick of the week, uh, but I'm going to go with the Mythwind reprint and the extra mm. character. Oh, I think nice. again. I know that I, I was. Wasn't like the extra the character most? in the first one? I don't think the extra character's new. The, the innkeeper, innkeeper? Right? I think it was in the first one. Yeah, he um, was in the first one. Yeah, because I just said they yeah. played with him last night. I thought mm -hmm. it did come with a new character, though. Oh, maybe it does. I don't know. I thought there was a new character. Yeah. There's certainly new stuff. There, there is, for sure, yeah. New no, I, I think this stuff. is cool. And like I said, I applaud them for taking and, mm -hmm. and updating the rules a little bit to make it a little more approachable. But I think they were going for cozy, and they, they, they nailed it. So, I mean, it's exactly what they... We're going for so yeah yeah I like this one. All right, I'm gonna pick. I was gonna pick the gummies, but not really. I'll pick the super trains. I really like that. Oh, yeah. really? There are very few games that work. I think that work well for <clears throat> kids, like this series has. I really enjoyed Quest Kids a lot. It's my uh, son's yeah. favorite game, and mm. Super Trains probably might beat that. He really liked. He likes that. I don't know. He likes that help. I mean, he does it in an evil way, like, I'm going to help you whether you want it or not. I'm like, all right, you got it. <laughs> this is co-op. You will you're gonna appreciate like it. me. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, someday he'll be the alpha gamer in the co-op game. <laughs> all right. Anyhow, oh, that's my pick of the week. And that is another week. Um, yeah, lots of good stuff, Delicio. 
I agree. It there wasn't like options. a dreadful. It wasn't a dreadful week no. or anything. I thought there, there was, was a lot of interesting things Easily, in the there. Cthulhu one could have been mine. I mean, I've been looking forward to that. And Adam Klepinski, I really like his design so far. So I'm super excited about that. There's, there's plenty. Mike, I you're agree. a hack. But get the first one we will always say, get, get on, on the plane, plane and go. Okay? But, all right, yeah, yeah, Mike's yeah, heading back yeah, to Indianapolis. You'll see him in the Midwest Annex. And you'll see us tomorrow at Board Game Smorgasbord. Smorgasbord. Yeah. Also, if you missed it, last week we did our 20, uh, 30, 30. 30 hour marathon. Yes. yes. Yep. And the playthroughs of that started going up today. So you mm -hmm. can go and watch them. We split them up into different Ooh. games if you want to watch mm -hmm. that. Alrighty. Well, until next time, I'm Tom Vassell. I'm Z Garcia. I'm Camilla. I'm Joy Evans. You got it. I got it. it. Well done. <laughs> this way. Hey folks, thanks for watching another one of our videos. If you like our videos, if you like our channel, you would love to game with us at one of our conventions. Check out Dice Tower Cruise, Dice Tower East, and Dice Tower West. Fantastic conventions where we play games with wonderful people, a humongous library, and lots of other events and stuff. Also, don't forget to check out our channel, like and subscribe. I'm Tom Bassel.